Hi everybody, this is Ian from URTAC.ca and today we're going to try to figure out how to take pictures from a cell phone like this very common uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 and get the pictures off of here and put them onto the computer you're looking at right now. So the first thing you need to do is power the, power the phone up. Done. Second thing you need to do is to take your cable, a USB cable like this one, and plug it in to your phone. There we go, at one end, and then plug it into the laptop or computer at the other end, whatever you're using. There we go. Now, on your phone, what you need to do is to unlock it. Now, for a lot of people, that's a pin code. For others, it's uh, a pattern. There's a lot of different ways to unlock a phone. In this case, though, my this, this phone is just set up just to swipe and unlock. So there we go. And look what's popped up. We get this allow access to the device data through an MTP connection. And you can select allow or deny, but you might suspect that deny is a bad idea if you're trying to, you know, get access to something. So I'm going to click the smart thing, which is allow. There we go. And basically what that does is it turns this phone into a thumb drive, which uh, probably you're familiar with. So now what you need to do is go to... Uh, my computer or this PC or File Explorer, whatever you want to call it. And there's a bunch of ways to do that. The easiest way for most people running Windows 10 is to click the little yellow file folder at the bottom. There we go. Uh, but you could, if you have it on the desktop, you could double click there. If you have, if you don't know what I'm talking about, simply click the start button and type the word file. And you'll see File Explorer pop up. Then you can click on this PC if you're not already there and you'll see whatever your phone is called right beside your C drive. Now, in this case, I've cleverly named this Camera Samsung because this is for somebody I know, and he's not really, he doesn't really use the phone. He just treats this like a really awesome portable, uh, you know, uh, camera. So I've just renamed that for him, but it literally could be any name at all. Um, often it's simply named the, 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 by the manufacturer by default to be the manufacturer name in the model. So often it'll just say Samsung S6 or S7 or whatever. Anyway, let's go through. So I'm going to double click on that. And then phone comes up, so you might suspect you double click on the only thing that's there. There we go. And now here's where it gets the tiniest bit tricky. You'll see DSIM. Do is double click on DSIM. That's where all cameras keep their digital content. And in here on most Samsungs specifically, and most Android devices, you'll see camera. And you might see screenshots. You also might see some photo editing tools. In this case, let's go into camera. And you'll see I've got a bunch of pictures. Yay, isn't that exciting? However, that doesn't really do me much good. I want to get these pictures off. So what I'm going to do, I could, I could just drag these pictures off if I wanted and put them somewhere. And you can see it says copy to desktop here. That's one way to go. Uh, but, you know, if you've got a hundred pictures or a thousand pictures, that could be a lot of work. So the easiest way to do this is to go back one step to DSIM and right click on camera and select either copy or cut. Cut will take them off your phone. Copy will simply duplicate them. So for the sake of argument here, I'm going to select copy. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to select copy. And then I can close this window. Um, so and now I can simply right click on the background and select paste. And babingo. And as you can see, it put the camera folder here in the top right corner. Sometimes it moves them around on you, which is not very nice, but there it is. And there's my pictures. Now I can go into these and aren't they lovely? Uh, in this case, I'm going to select, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't make a difference what I use for this. So, here's a silly picture I took just, uh, um, all of these pictures are just really nothing. Um, yeah, that's it. You can rename them, you can delete them, you can do whatever you want. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Bye bye.